the Puma world order, the greatest that you will see, best that there was, that there is, or there will be. Talk a lot of trash, that he talking about is so thick. Ask Chris What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am, of course, C and Puma, wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. Well, in the last video, we faced off against the Street Profits at NXT Brooklyn for the Tag Team Championships where we retained. Then, uh, upon skipping a bunch of match or a bunch of dates because we weren't on the cards, I accidentally skipped the entire month of September after SummerSlam. Um, doesn't seem like a whole lot has changed, though. Trey Jeter is still facing off against Velveteen Dream. All the champions are still the champions. And we are here in the third week of October, uh, right before the TLC pay-per-view. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But we skipped a bunch of matches, uh, or a bunch of cards, because we weren't on the uh, the match card. So, there's that. Now, Trey Jeter is number one. Look at that. He's taking on Velveteen Dream. Ooh. Oof. Number five. That is great. And Mortis is number six. That's amazing. Uh, some of the other people we added, Chris Falcone is number 12, Tromba 16, Primate and Wild Boar are 19 and 20, and then uh, Zach Gibson, 28, James Drake is 30. Oh, man, we, we're pushing people down the rankings list, that is for sure. Um, I want to see the divisions here, so Lars Sullivan is the number one contender for that NXT championship after Johnny Gargano has tried and tried and tried and not made it. Undisputed Era, followed by the Street Profits, Team 61, for the Tag Team Championships. Asuka is still your number one contender for the Women's Championship. And Oni Lorcan is the number one contender for the NXT North American Championship. But Trey Jeter is currently in that rivalry with him, so we will see how that goes. But with all that said, we have got our matchup here with uh with taurus i'm sorry with mortis it's a non-title tag team matchup against lars sullivan and tromba and it says potential rivalry I, that doesn't even make any sense to me alistair black versus adam cole alistair black wins adam cole is oh it says number one contender for the tag championships pete dunn has beaten uh Cassisono. Got this rivalry matchup here. Chris Falcone getting the victory over Oni Lorcan. That's that's good for him. Asuka loses to Alicia Fox. That's interesting. And now we have our matchup here. Let's get into it against Tromba and Lars Sullivan. Here we go. It's going to be Mortis starting things off with Lars Sullivan. And he's going to immediately stop Mortis from punching. And Mortis is going to deliver that knee. Does Sullivan have like a Ninja Turtle tattoo on his arm? That looks straight up like the Ninja Turtles logo. He looks like a Bond villain if we're comparing him to movies and TVs and whatnot. I don't know about a Ninja Turtle villain, but this fool looks straight out of James Bond. Big flapjack there from Mortis. He's going to follow that up. A big kick. Everything's big. Big kick. Big slapjack. Big move to the second rope. Big elbow across the throat. That's right. Everything's big. Reversal there from Sullivan, who immediately gets reversed by Mortis. And a drop kick. Holy cow. I was not expecting that from Mortis. Sullivan pushing Mortis out of the corner. Tag team action now. Should probably do different tag team moves because I, I I'm end up doing the same ones. Boot to the side of the head, sidewalk slam there. Nice move from the faces of fear. Big, big. Everything's big. I'm gonna be self-conscious about it now that I keep saying it. Can Taurus get him up? He does, and not only does he get him up, he throws him down on the ground like a sack of potatoes. I'm not gonna let y'all tag. Are you crazy? into the turnbuckle there. Look at this, man. Deep six, that looks like, or uh, the move Abyss does. I forget, black hole slam. Oh. Into the corner goes Sullivan. And look at Taurus. He's gonna pick up 
this massive behemoth of a man buckle bomb right into the corner no oh turned inside out and he's gonna get the tag anyway uh, Taurus and Mortis are having a lot uh, more luck I should say They're having a lot more of the ability to keep their team in order and really wreck the other team here elbow no reversal look at that crucifix Uh when we faced off against the Street Profits Taurus and Mortis had some serious issues getting things in order but then they worked it out so, you know, oh, should have picked him up that should be a weight thing if he weighs a certain amount he could pick him up and just power bomb the crap out of him nice stalling suplex there no well maybe I should have let that happen I should have let them tag and oh elbow to the face Taurus now going to town and a kick no oh my gosh Trombo with a massive spinning kick right to the face nope reversal reversal there from Taurus and he uh oh misstep there misstep and now Tromba has got oh man he's got Taurus in but he reverses out of it good job there from Taurus and a re reversal into the corner nope Taurus reverses it back puts Tromba up on the top rope my goodness look at him getting up there hooking him up onto his back oh no rolling slam from the top rope good lord that could have killed him Lars Sullivan now coming in sorry bud <laughs> time for that no tag team finisher now this is what you get this is what you get Tromba though on the outside Taurus taking control that reversal really hurt him and now here we go tag team moves and he's gonna throw him right in picking him up assisted power bomb huge move drops Lars Sullivan on his head my goodness look at this oh a reversal from Lars few shots to the side of the head drops the big man and Lars Sullivan now attacking the arms of Mortis Mortis not really able to retaliate raking the forearm across the forehead working that mask right into the into the head uh oh oh my gosh just brutal forearm shots from Lars Sullivan wow uh oh Lars is getting amped oh, missed there oh got him by the forehead I don't know if I've ever seen that is he gonna make Mortis tap it doesn't look like it looks like Mortis is gonna be able to get out of it good lordy big shot to the midsection another finally let's go look at Mortis here clapping those big old massive ears right into a neck breaker good move there and now Mortis just stomping away at the big man got him up in his own corner by the way that is good that is a good move boom electric chair drop to Lars Sullivan and here we go tag team finisher coming at you Oh, he's got him hooked. Taurus and Mortis, big sit-out power bomb to the big man, center of the ring. There we go. This is over. No! Mortis, you knucklehead. Get down. Ref, count out this man. One, two, three. Holy cow. I thought Mortis screwed that thing up. I'm sorry. What? 
not only is it saying they're the tag team champions, but they're holding WWE champion. Have you, look at this. I don't know what's going on in this universe. This is a mess. The, this is a mess. I don't even know what this means. Well, right there it shows Mortis and Taurus got the victory. I don't know what is going on with that cutscene. Shayna Baszler beats the women's champion. That is interesting there. And Velveteen Dream is going to get the victory over Trey Jeter. All right. Moving right along here. We'll see if we're on the next card. I don't know what that is. That is... That was weird to me. All right. Let's not skip the whole month. I think we can manage that. Let's see here. Johnny Gargano sat at ringside. Oni Lorcan got even with Chris Falcone. Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly appeared on stage to mock their rivals, Mortis and Taurus, which is not what happened. Uh, Carrie Sane and Ruby Riot fought on the stage. My goodness. And Velveteen Dream took the win there. Are we on the match? Uh, on the match card? Nope. We are not. All right. Well, with that said, let's head right over to TLC and see what's going on in that pay-per-view. We'll try not to skip the whole damn uh, month coming up when we when we simulate our matches. But we're gonna we're gonna go into TLC. We're gonna check it out. See what happens here. We got a rivalry matchup between. Uh, Triple H and Braun Strowman, which is a TLC match. Are we surprised Triple H gets the victory over Braun Strowman? Triple H, number eight in the ranking. Strowman is number two. I feel like that's going to go down. Noam Dar versus Lince Dorado uh, in a tables match. Interesting. Dorado gets the victory there. They're way down in the, in the world championship rankings. Seth Rollins versus Dolph, Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match. I think Seth, Seth Rollins is still your champion. And he is. He wins the match there. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman versus Finn Balor. They've been going at it for a little while. And Finn Balor beats the number one contender. Holy cow. Extreme rules match between Hideo Itami and Drew Gulak. Hideo Itami is now the number one contender. Pushing Drew down to number three. Gentleman Jack and Cedric Alexander for the Cruiserweight Championship. And Cedric Alexander holds on to it. Still, they're not letting that thing go. He, he's hanging on to that thing with for dear life. John Cena versus Roman Reigns. And John Cena hangs on to the title there. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. We'll take a look at the news. We'll see what's going on here. Let's see. Triple H won his big match. Let's say uh, defeated Noam Dar. Seth Rollins. Defended the Intercontinental Championship. That is crazy. Finn Balor defeated Brock Lesnar. Um, Hideo Itami is now your number one contender. Cedric Alexander defended. So Hideo Itami is going to go after Cedric Alexander there. Okay. November. Oh, that's what happened. I pressed the button. It skipped a million things. Here we go. Good lordy. All right into the news we're gonna take a look at the news teams led by connor and kevin owens are set to take each other on the survivor series that's weird finn balor called out baron corbin uh, doesn't make me much braun Strowman and ambushed roman reigns called out john cena kofi kingston and big e appeared on stage to applaud jimmy and jay interesting sportsmanship sports um carmella and oscar they're not even oscar's in nxt for crying out loud, Becky Lynch. Good lord. And uh, still? Good night. Mortis and Taurus on the card to take on heavy machinery. Oh, things have changed. Trey Jeter's down to seven. Ruby Riot way up there at number two. That's good. But holy cow. See, and we're. Man, we got pushed way down. 17 and 18. We were like 5 and 6. Or 4 and 5 or something like that. Ugh. I think the tag titles are holding us down, folks. I think they are. 
All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. A little shorter than last week's or last uh, video simply uh, for the reason of uh, we are actually on a card. So days held, 364 days. I wonder if we can uh, beat that. We're at 108 already, passing so many people, so many teams. We are at 108 days. I think we can do this. Wow, 126 is going to be easy. 203, maybe not. 364 days. That's a, that's a whole year minus a day. I don't know. Well, we've only gotten the tag team championships one time. That's all we need, baby. One time to where we keep them forever. Keep them forever. Finn Balor uh, held it for 292 days. Where's Alistair Black? 272. What is this? Where am I at here? Am I just? I just keep going. I see it. I'm dumb. Alistair Black, they're holding it for 272. He's definitely going to beat that. Uh, let's see. Carrie Sane. 172 days. She's got to go 510. Holy mackerel. And then the North American Championship. Adam Cole hit it for 195. Velveteen Dream might do it if Trey Jeter doesn't take it away from him. That's for sure. But that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're not. Come on back for more NXT tag team action here against Heavy Machinery.